Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Hafner and today I'm going to show you ST's low voltage motor control portfolio for analog and power. So let's jump into it. So here we see a quite standard block diagram of a motor control application. But at first, um, when we talk in ST about low voltage motor control, we talk about a DC bus below 100 watts. This is our definition as T of low voltage. So looking at the diagram, starting from left to right, we see on the left side the power supply. This can be, for example, a lithium ion battery or a industrial battery in the range of 20 up to 30 volt or a DC bus. Then in the middle, in the gray block, we see the microcontroller. This will not be part of this presentation. And on the right side, in the dark blue block, we see the inverter section with the driver and the MOSFET. Then we have also a DC-DC converter or switching regulator or LDO, which bus regulate the voltage to 3.3 volts to supply the microcontroller or to supply the driving section. And then maybe to close the loop, we have also a signal conditioning for current sensing. So to which application can this um, diagram applies a lot in the industrial segment, for example, in industrial optimization, um, for applications for robotic arms, moving belts, or big equipment, and also in the segment of home optimization. There we have, for example, roller shutter, cleaning robots, which are battery powered. And then we have also the consumer market, and that can apply, for example, for drones, for 3D printers, e-bikes, scooters, and also for some small toys. So what else can ST offer? We have also a longevity program. And what this is, I will show you on the next slide. So here you see what I mean when I talk about longevity program. It means that ST ensure a special lifetime of every product from 7, 10, up to 15 years, depending on the product line, to ensure that you can easily reuse the same product for different designs again and again, and not have to worry about that it may be vanished in a couple of years. The lifetime of every product, or till when it's valid, you can find it on our homepage for every product. You find a little icon if you search for it on our web page. And there you see till which date it is valid. This should make it easier to fit with the requirements of the industrial world. We have also some specific actions on application level. On application level, we ensure an easy testing and evaluation for a product. Application specific products are leveraged on the X Nucleo system. Each product comes with its own X Nucleo board. It's equipped with our firmware and graphic interface that ensure an easy validation. And if you like it and if you want to design it in, you can easily start it to use it for your own product without designing a dedicated hardware for that. This reduces the validation time and the time to market. With power management. And power management is needed in case you need to regulate your bus voltage or the DC voltage to supply a microcontroller or the drivers. And because ST is offering a quite big portfolio, so it's not so easy to select the right one. So how to select the right one? Here are some suggestions, not a complete portfolio overview. But in case, for example, you need efficiency, because you have, for example, a battery in front of your motor, then you could go with the L698X family, because they're perfect for efficiency applications thanks to the synchronous rectification and the quiescent current. 
Another example in case you need a solution for a um, high voltage bus, then the family L798X could be the perfect choice for you because thanks to asynchronous rectification, it can really bring a big benefit for you thanks to a very small DT cycle conversation. Or another example, if you just need a very simple solution and a minimal bill of material, then you should choose, for example, the ST1S. All these products come with a wide package variety from QFM to SO to HSOP up to HTSSOP packages. And in case these suggestions are not fitting to your need, then ST is offering our tool to help you. So the tool is called eDesign Suite. The link to the tool you find in the very last slide. And here, for example, you see the picture, how it looks like on a website. So you see there's the eDesign Suite, you see a power management design center on the left side. You have also the possibility for a terminal electrical simulation, for the component, for signal uh, conditioning design tool, and NFC and RFID calculators, and much more. And the tool is very simple. You just uh, put the input voltage and the output voltage in the tool, or the needed current, and then the tool gives you uh, the best three up to four solutions as is offering, depending on your needs. Next product family for power management in motor control application are the linear regulators, or short LEOs. And they are needed in case that you need a clean voltage trail, for example, for single conditioning or for the microcontroller. But how to choose the right one? This is always depending on your needs and on the requirements of the application. On the right side here, you can see some suggestions were made. So, for example, if you are interested in a high system efficiency and a minimum power dissipation, you could go with our ultra low drop out LD39X family. Or if you maybe need reverse current protection, then you could go with our LDL112 family. In case you just need a simple and cost effective solution, you could go with our LDK or with our LDL family. ST is also offering a wide package variety. So as you can see, we are offering, for example, SO8 package, PPAK package, or SOT package. And all the packages have their own advantage. But how to choose the right one? So to make this easier for you, ST is offering a mobile app which is available on our web page, and it's called ST Voltage Regulator Finder. And it's quite easy to use. You just enter the electrical parameters, and the device gives you some suggestion which products could fit the best for your application. You also get the latest data sheets there, and you have visibility on the stock of the distributor, and you also get a price indication for every product. to the second block of our diagram, the signal conditioning. In motor control, this means mainly current sensing, but it's quite often overlooked. And to take you some time and take a deeper look, the right choice can bring a lot of benefits. So you can always go with a standard OPAM, so like our LM290X family, but if you want to have more precision, for example, our TSZ family enable you to have a much better signal-to-noise result 
which allows you to use smaller shunts and minimize your overall system losses. Another specific case where the right choice can bring advantage is when you want to track high slew rate signals. Here, for example, our TSV family could be a good option for you. Or if you want to do some overcurrent detection for overcurrent protection, our TS3 family could be the best choice for you. Because ST have a lot of products and the high number could for some of you be overwhelming, ST is offering a tool. It's a tool which is called OPAMP Finder and it's available for smartphone. So it's available on the App Store and on the Google Play Store. And it's working quite similar to the other tools. So you just input your electrical parameters and the tool will give you a suggestion of three, four products which could fit best to your application. So let's go on to the core of the application. Now we come to the core of the application, the low voltage motor control section, the inverter section. More or less, it's the same schematic we already saw some slides before. In magenta, we see the products we already discussed, the DC-DC converter and the power sensor. We split the inverter section into two blocks. One is a control logic with a driver, the other one is the power stage with the MOSFETs. We also explore the concept of motor, which is a standard one, a generic one into three different kinds of motors. So we have DC motors, we have stepper motors, and we have BLDC motors. Each requires a dedicated solution and increase the complexity of the application. Each can be used as a standalone block or combined with other ones in a kind of Lego approach. This brings a big variety and we will go to all the solution one by one to see which is the best and when it's the best. Here we see the different solution ST is offering. For the highest level of flexibility, ST is offering three different solutions. This allows motor control designer to select the best fitting for their project. The first solution is the discrete one, the second one is the integral. Let's start with a discrete approach. What does a discrete approach mean? It means we have a separate microcontroller, a separate gate driver and a separate power stage. This approach allows us freely to choose the microcontroller or the gate driver or the MOSFET we want to use which fits the best to our project and is suitable for our requirements. Another big advantage of this approach is a better thermal performance, thanks to a better heat dissipation due to the distance of the individual devices to each other. First product we're going to review for our discrete solution is the gate driver. This one is the SD Drive 101. So this is the first block of the schematic we saw in the slides before. So we have the control logic with the driving section. The driver is a 75 volt triple half bridge gate driver with an integrated bootstrap diode for every high side and a 12 volt LDO which supplies the control logic and the driving section. It comes with a lot of features like VDS monitoring for each power MOSFET, a standby mode for lower consumption, and two flexible driving modes. One was adjustable dead time, the other one is a direct driving with interlocking function. It has a current capability up to 600 milliamps and also a lot of features like an under voltage lockout, a overcurrent protection and a thermal shutdown. And all these failures can be reported to the micro thanks to our ball pin. For higher voltage or other motors like stepper motors, we have also half bridge gate drivers in our portfolio like the L638 or L639 or the more performant L649 product family. 
All infos are available on our website. To the power stage for part, the MOSFETs. So here you see our strip fed F7 and the new strip fed F8. Both product families are complementing each other, as you can see in the chart on the lower right side. Come with a wide variety of voltages, so they are scalable from 30 volt up to 100 volt. But why do we recommend these products for motor control? So that's basically thanks to this great EMI behavior and the high efficiency of the products. As you can see in the lower middle, the chart with the system efficiency, the F8 is best in class compared to competition. And this is what's key for motor control. Because of this, almost all of our evaluation boards are equipped with these MOSFETs. The target key applications can might be different. So they can be from power tools to e-bikes, pumps and pans, and can even go up to forklifts. Let's come to our integrated solutions, the solution two and solution three. Let's have a closer look at it. If we go to integration, we must differentiate the products by power level. Because if we having a device with MOSFET inside, we limit the power of the products in terms of current and voltage. Here you see a kind of ranking. As you can see the different power levels the products are covering. We have several monolithic products. What is a monolithic product? The monolithic product is one die which embedded the control logic, driver, and the MOSFET. The power level can be from 10 watts up to 50 watts and more. For sure, this is depending on the motor we want to use. And if we want to go higher in power, we have to go with a controller or a system and package. As we have seen, we can rank the different products by power, but this is not enough. We need another classification to make a distinction between the different product families. And this is an example. In the rows, you see a different type of motors. So you see a DC motor, the BLDC motor, and the stepper motor. In the column, you see a different product families. If you want to find a commonality, all our monolithic product families are able to support with different products all kind of motors. The monolithic product families are those in the big blocks. In the small blocks you see the system package or controller which are dedicated for a specific type of motor. Now we will see all these families one by one to understand when to use and which are the key parameter to select the right product. And now we come to our integrated power approach where we combine a gate driver with a MOSFET. This can be in a monolithic or in a system packet way. The big advantage of this approach is that we save a lot of space on the PCB to have a higher power density and have also an easier layout. We can also freely choose the microcontroller we want to use. Okay, let's have a look at the product we have with this approach. Here we have our SD Spin 200 motor driver series. It's ideal for battery powered applications and contains five part numbers. As I told you before, this is a monolithic approach, so this covers all types of motors from stepper to BLDC and brushed DC motors. The operating voltage is from 1.8 up to 10 volt. It has a current output up to 1.3 amps RMS and also a standby mode, which is best in class with less than 80 nano amps. 
It is fully protected with under voltage lockout, over current protection and thermal shutdown. And all these comes in a really small 3 by 3 millimeter QFM package. We have a dedicated part number from F4 stepper motor. So you see the SD spin 220, which supports up to 256 micro steps. We have two part numbers for BLD7. Here we have our SD spin 800 multi driver series. It integrates in a small 4x4 millimeter QFM package, the control logic, driver, and the low RDS on power stage. It can be forced into a low consumption state, and all the devices offers a complete set of protection like under voltage lockout, overcurrent protection, and thermal shutdown. The voltage range is from 7 up to 45 volt, and we have an output current up to 1.5 amp RMS. The 800 series offers a solution for every type of motor, so we have a solution for stepper, BLDC, and DC motors. The stepper motor driver has a PWM current control with fixed off time and up to 256 micro steps. The BLDC driver is ready for FOC. It can be driven into two different driving modes. It supports single and three sound solution architectures. The brushed motor is able to drive two motors bidirectional at the same time, or one motor bidirectional with higher power up to three amps. This makes the 800 family a bulletproof solution for your industrial application. Typical application for this product is medical and healthcare, stage lightning, wending machines, 3D printers, and much more. Higher and power, here we have our best selling family, the L62X family. It's a DEMOS fully integrated motor driver with non dissipative overcurrent protection of the high side power MOSFET and has a thermal shutdown. It's realized in the BCD multi-power technology, which combines isolated DMOS power transistors with CMOS and bipolar circuits on the same chip. The family offers solution for DC motors, for BLDC motors, for stepper motors, with different current output and RDS on from 2.8 up to 5.6 amps RMS. And it's available in different packages like Power SO, SO, Power Dip, and QFM to fit perfectly to the customer needs. It's really scalable, so we have a basic power stage, which is only driver plus MOSFETs. And then we can have all the different options added one by one. You can see here on the table on the right side. And we have also a solution for BLDC and for Stepper with unique features matching to the requirements of them. We have our latest motor driver family, the SDSPIN 900 family. The SDSPIN 900 family is a multi half bridge driver family, basically for brush DC motors or for people or stepper motors. Here we have two versions, the SD-SPIN 948 with four half bridges and the 958 with two half bridges. The voltage range is from five up to 58 volt and we have a current output up to five amp RMS. The power stage is designed for high dynamic performance, allowing to achieve high frequency PWM control with precise duty cycle. The devices are offering a current limiter with adjustable thresholds and a off time with slow or mixed decade selection. The amplifiers with fixed amplification factors are available for current sensing by using an external shunt resistor. The devices also offers an adjustable slew rate. So here we have four fixed values from 0.3 up to 2 volt per nanosecond. 
to guarantee the best trade-off between performance and EMI. The device also offers a complete set of protections, including overcurrent protection, over temperature and under voltage lockout. The device has also a standby mode for lower consumption. And all this comes in a 7 by 7 mm QFM package for the 958 and in a 5 by 5 mm QFM package for the 958. The target application for these products are, for example, stage lightning, antenna control, robotics, home appliances, factory optimization, and many more. So here we have our highly integrated stepper motor drivers. So we have two different types here. We have the L647 family, which is a motor driver where we combine the driving section with a MOSFET. Here we have a voltage range from 8 volt up to 45 volt. It came in a Power SO36 or in a HTSSOAP28 package. Then we have a controller which is the L648 family. Here we have two part numbers. Here we just have the driving section with a lot of features and functionality embedded. And here we have a higher voltage range. So we can go from 7.5 up to 85 volt. The big advantage of this high integrated um, stepper motor driver is that we can easily drive multiple drivers by just one microcontroller. Thanks to the integrated intelligence and the stepper sequencer, for example, the microcontroller need less computing power to control the drivers. Here we also offer different solution of the driving modes, for example, in a slow, fast or mixed decay. And we have a quite high accurate of the positioning up to 128 micro steps. Thanks to this, we have a smooth and very sudden motion, especially if we work in the voltage mode, which is patented by ST. His modes allowed us to drive stepper motors almost equal to a BLDC motor. One point the integration can reach a limit beyond which it's no longer more convenient to go with a monolithic approach. Otherwise the silicone would become too large and the number of required part numbers would become far too large to cover all the needs of the customers. However, since the need for more and more integration in the market is there, we decided to take a different approach, the system in package approach. Here we combine several pieces of silicon instead of just using one. This allows us a higher power density and we can also use products which are already existing in the portfolio of ST. So we can choose the best devices for the target application and put them together in one package. As we can see here, for example, we have the approach driver as power stage and this allows us to reach higher power and more integration in one package. Let us see the product behind it. Highest integrated motor driver, the Power Step 1. It's a system package, so the approach you saw before, where we combine a gate driver with MOSFETs. So this device integrates 8N channel 60 milliohm MOSFETs for stepper applications up to 85 volt with an SPI programmable controller providing a full digital control of the motion through a speed profile generation and a positioning calculation. It integrates a 
dual low RDs on for which was embedded programmable non-dissipative overcurrent protection. The device can operate in two different modes. One mode is the voltage mode. The other one is the advanced current control mode to fit different applications need. The digital control core can generate a user-defined motion profile with acceleration, deceleration, speed or target position easily programmed through a dedicated register set. The output of the device is up to 10 N RMS. It has an adjustable output slew rate and can work up to 128 microsteps. It has a sensorless stall detection and an integrated voltage regulator. It has a SPI interface and a over temperature protection. It has also a charge pump for all the high sides and a ADC. All this comes in an 11 by 40 millimeter QFM package and saves up to 67% of space on the PCB compared with a discrete approach. You can see the discrete approach, approach on the upper side of the slide and below you see the approach with our power step. Okay, let's see the next system and package approach we have at ST. So the next system and package approach we have is the approach where we combine a gate driver with a microcontroller in one package. As you can see below, here we have our STM32 combined with a gate driver. This allows us to integrate more intelligent in our drivers. We already discussed the solution one with a discrete approach and the solution two with integrated power. Come now to the solution three with integrated intelligent. This is what we call in ST our ST Spin32 family. There we combine a microcontroller with a gate driver and use external MOSFETs to reach higher power. So here we see the integrated intelligence approach. The big advantage of this approach is thanks to the combination of microcontroller and gate driver in a system or package, we can reach a high level of integration, but we are not limited in power like in the integrated power approach, thanks to the use of external MOSFETs and the better heat dissipation. This approach is perfect for applications where space is really rare and the performance should be high. Let's have a closer look at the family, which is behind this approach. As I already mentioned before, the approach where we combine a microcontroller and a gate driver in a system and package is called STSPIN32. So here you see an overview about our STSPIN32 family. It's a highly integrated system and package. And we have two different lines. We have the F0 and the G4 line. The F0 uses our M0 cortex and the G4 uses M4 cortex. So let's have a closer look at both of the products. Here we have our ST Spin 32 F0 series. It's a system and package providing an integrated solution suitable for driving three phase BLDC motors using different driving modes. It embeds a triple half bridge gate driver able to drive power MOSFETs with a current capability of 600 milliamp single source and a STM32 F0 core. It has also a integrated power management, so we have a DC DC buck converter which provides 3.3 volt to supply the microcontroller and if you want also to supply external components. Then we have an internal LDO regulator 
which provides the supply voltage to the gate driver. The integrated operation amplifiers are available for signal conditioning and current sensing across the shunt resistors. A comparator with a programmable threshold is integrated to perform the overcurrent protection. And we have also an under voltage lockout in terms of too low supply voltage and the over temperature protection for the gate driving section. We have also on board a 12 bit ADC and a flash memory of 32 kilobyte. The voltage range of this family is from 6.6 .6 or 8, depending on the version we are using, up to 45 volt. Here we have three different versions. We have the standard one, then we have the A version and the B version. The A version and the B version is working from 6.6 6 up to 45, and the standard version is working from 8 up to 45. Depending on the version, we have also a different amount of O pumps, and because of this, also a different amount of GPIOs. All this comes in a compact 7 by 7 millimeter QFM. Key applications of this product family are fans, power tools, drones, robots, battery powered home applications, industrial automation. So here we have our ST Spin 32 G4. It's the bigger brother of the ST Spin F0 and it's superior to it in terms of computing power and on driving as well. So the voltage range of this product is from 5.5 up to 75 volt, and it's also dedicated for BLDC modules. But here we have instead of a M0 core, a M4 core, which is so performant that we are able to drive two BLDC motors at the same time with this device. Here we also have a changed power management. So we use here uh, programmable bug regulator with four fixed values to supply the driving section. And we have a 3.3 volt LDO which supplies the microcontroller. We have also an embedded standby regulator which supplies the microcontroller in the case that we force the device into a low consumption mode. The signal conditioning here comes with a microcontroller. And thanks to the superior microcontroller, we have more comparators and more O-pumps on board for better signal conditioning and better current sensing. We have here also a VDS MOSFET monitoring on board so that we can check every status of every power MOSFET we are driving. With this device, we can drive BLDC motors in six step or FOC. And we have all the protections on board we saw on the F0 family. The key application of these products are mainly robotics, garden and power tools, e-bikes and e-scooter, and many more. And all this comes in a 9 by 9 millimeter QFM package. So why to choose ST? Basically, there are two main reasons. One is product specific because ST is offering a lot of power and analog IC solution which fits to every type of motor and every application. We have application specific products <clears throat> with a high scalability in different packages and for different voltage range. And then we also offer power management, signal conditioning and MOSFETs. On top of this, we didn't mention it because it was not the main topic of this session, but all the products can be combined with our microcontrollers and sensors to have a full coverage for the application. 
Then we have also our ST longevity program across all the product families. And the second point is that we provide you with a coherent and comprehensive enablement ecosystem. For application specific applications, we leverage on the X nuclear system and we can provide you with boards, with libraries and graphical user interface. Then we also offer a lot of support tools like the e-design suite and a lot of other product um, selectors for smartphones to choose the best O-Pump, voltage regulator or MOSFET. More information you find in the links you can see below. That's all from my side. And I thank you for joining the session about power and analog ICs in a motor control application. I invite you to check out on www.st.com for more information.